Hi grade 11 students, so in this video I'm going to do question 1 of the question paper which was written in 2022 June. So I'm going to do a question by question. So in this video I'm going to cover question 1. Then after this question make sure that you go and check the next video which is going to be question 2 until the whole question paper is completed. Alright, now uh, let's check how did they set this question okay then 1.1 they said uh, we are going to answer accounting equation then 1.2 uh, we are going to do a fixed asset remember this is paper one okay then they say that complete the table provided to indicate the effect of accounting equation for the following transaction assume that the bank balance is favorable and the perpetual inventory system is used for all transaction Okay, then they give us example. They said issued a receipt for rent received. In other words, we have received a rent income. Our bank is going to increase, obvious, and the rent income is an income, and when it's in income, it affects equity, and it must be plus. If it's an expense, then it will be a minus. So this is how they want you to indicate. They didn't want you to write a name or any amount. As you can see, we didn't have any amount in this old transaction that we are going to do okay but for the other transaction i'm going to write uh, those components so that you will be able to understand even if they want you to write those components number a they said one of the partners partners contribute a delivery vehicle as a part of his investment in partnership okay one of the partner contributed a vehicle which means that a vehicle has increased because as a business we have received what a vehicle that we are going to use is either to deliver or to take a stock from our supplier so we're going to use it in our business and you know that vehicle is an asset which means that under assets we are going to have a vehicle and a plus okay and the other thing which is going to be affected is capital obviously capital is going to increase and this side no effect there's no any liability that is going to be affected number b a credit note received for damage equipment return as a business uh, if we find a credit note simply means that we have returned something and they issued a credit note okay we have returned equipment this equipment is no longer part of our asset which means that equipment equipment has decreased it's no longer with us we return it to to supplier which means that we are not going to pay this equipment anymore which means that a creditors is going to decrease because we can't pay for something that we have returned our liability has decreased okay there there is no any effect under this uh, equity okay then the next one number c Repairs to building were debited to the land and building account in the era. This must be corrected. This transaction already recorded, but there is an error. Repairs is an expense, but they record it under what? Assets. Which means that we have to go and remove it under what? Under assets. Which means that we are going to say building and we remove that amount that we recorded as a building of repairs. We, we remove it this side and we go and add it under equity. Okay? This side is going to be repairs. Okay? Then sign it will be a plus. Apology, it's not going to be a minus. Then this side will be unchanged. Okay? So this is how you rectify this error. So why repairs, um, we, we are going to record it as a, as a plus. Okay, remember, repairs is an expense. So if repairs is an expense and we, we are correcting error that was adjusted before, simple means that we have to do what? A versa versa. That's why uh, sometimes when you see a transaction, when we correct a transaction where 
like for example they can give you an income but that income was recorded by in terms of error simple means that when you rectify that error is going to be negative we know that under equity we have income and expense and expense you have to indicate minus income you indicate plus but if it's a correction of error guys they are going to do opposite because you are rectifying something that has already been recorded okay so i hope you have learned so far in this part one so this video is a special for 10,000 subscribers guys thank you so much for those who are coming here for the second time and the many time those who are coming here for the first time make sure that we we reach 20,000 this year make sure that you subscribe because you are the only person who can make us to reach that 20,000 as early as possible so in this channel we record all chapters that you are covering uh, in grade 11 grade 10 and grade 12 and the college and varsity so now let's go to the next one the next one uh, we are going to deal with ppe so it was six marks to do this there was no any marks for this as i said earlier that all they want is a sign okay now let's proceed to the next one um the next one they said lulu told us the following information related to financial year end 8 june 2022 required calculate the missing figure denoted by i roman figure number one and iv roman figure number four okay to our fixed asset notes okay let's take our fixed asset notes we have land and building equipment and vehicle current value at the beginning up to current value at the end okay information they say the precision on equipment is calculated at 10 percent on diminishing balance method and there was a new equipment purchased on 1 october then depreciation for vehicle is 15 percent on cost price and the delivery vehicle was sold by 112,000 cash on 1 march 2022 and the cost price was 360 and accumulated depreciation on 1 july 2021 announced to be 216,000. okay now let's check roman figure number one we have to find a cost at the end of land and building okay what do we check remember land and building does not depreciate simply means that we have to check whether they purchase or they sold in this case at the beginning we have three million amount of land and building and we make additional of 760. if we sold we we're going to subtract so which means that now we can calculate this and we're gonna get amount of three million seven hundred and sixty thousand as an answer then there was two marks for this okay moving to the next one uh, we have to calculate current value at the beginning for equipment this one is very simple current value guys current value formula is cost minus accumulated and we have those amount our cost is 420 thousand minus accumulated of 160 thousand uh, which is going to give us two sixty thousand to 60,000 then there was a three marks allocated for this one okay moving to the next one uh, Roman figure number three we have to calculate a depreciation for equipment so the instruction said the depreciation on equipment is calculated at 10 percent per annum on diminishing balance method Diminishing balance method is the same as current value. In other words, you have to take cost minus accumulated, then it's going to give you the current value. Okay. Now let's check. Uh, under equipment, we're going to have what we call a new and old. Then we add them together because remember 
there was new equipment purchased on 1 October. We can start with this one. The cost price, it was 160000 And when it's new, there is no any accumulated depreciation, which means that we can just multiply by 10%. Uh, then we count months. If you count from October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June. It's going to give you 9, 9 over 12. Okay. Then if you calculate this, it's going to give you 12,000. Okay. And the old one, uh, we calculated the current value for the old one at the beginning, which is 260,000. And we multiply by, remember this is diminishing. We take current value, cost minus accumulated current value, and we multiply by 10%, and it's going to give us 26,000. Then if you add this two, it's going to give you amount of 38,000. Okay, then the last one, uh, we need to calculate disposal at current value guys don't forget that for those who want to join our extra class is still available only 60 rand per month so for grade 11 we do class every saturday half past seven there is no time allocated from half past seven until we completed whatever that we are doing please make sure that when you contact us on whatsapp guys don't ask me any questions just go and watch the video that we explain how extra class work on youtube because i receive a lot of message and i won't be able to answer all kind of questions that you're asking okay then number four the last one that we are doing disposal at current wave okay the last uh, transaction they say a delivery vehicle was sold by 112 on cash on 1 march 2022 then the cost price was 360 360 is our cost price. Now we have to subtract what? A depreciation, total depreciation from the day of purchase until they sold it. Because this disposal, it must be on carrying value. Okay. Then the first accumulated depreciation, we have it of 216. 216,000. Then the other one. We must calculate because this one of 216 is for from, from beginning of the year on 1 July 2021. And it was sold on 1 March 2022. Which means that you need to count from July until 1 March 2022. Which is July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March. March you don't count it, it's going to be 8. Why March you don't count it? Because it was sold on 1 March. So it's 8 months. Okay. Which means that you're going to say... Because delivery vehicle, guys, we calculate using a cost price of 15%. You're going to say 360, multiply by 15%, and you multiply by 8 over 12. Okay, then it's going to give you amount of 36,000. 36,000 is the is the depreciation that you are going to add here so that you can get the total depreciation. If you add these two, they are going to give you 252,000. Okay? So if you say cost price minus accumulated, it's going to give you 108,000. That's how you calculate this question one, guys. It was very simple. Please make sure that you subscribe so that you can be able to watch the other questions, which is question two up to question four under this question paper that we are doing. I'm going to see you on the next one.